two years and 45,000 views later, it's time to make an updated vid. Although, if you're looking for the best text-to-speech in another language besides English, I'm afraid I cannot help at all, and most of the options in this vid are PC browser-based, so if you're here for a specific usage, like with phones, tablets, or speech readers, some of these options might work out, but some might not. These are the best human-sounding speech synthesis available in the English language, from best to most affordable, starting with a speech synthesis service called WellSaid Labs. It's so realistic that one of my longtime supporters had asked me if one of their voices was my real voice. It wasn't. I did my best to scrap together what voice samples I had generated in the past, but the quality of some are admittedly lacking. Here are some voice samples of WellSaid Labs. It out there in the universe. This fruit isn't a part of any fruit salads yet. This fruit isn't a part of any fruit salads yet. So what other methods should you consider and what other paths should you take? I don't have any plans on making reviews of games actively. This was just a random thing that I thought I'd try out for funsies. Thank you. Feather is a virtual reality story of a small girl that aims to become a ballet dancer. But what separates Wellsid Labs from the rest? Well, for one, its name isn't just for show. It exceeds in word pronunciation and flow, and you will find it hard for it to make mistakes. Another thing is that generating audio multiple times will be read in a different way almost every single time. This makes your generated audio sound way more authentic and human-like. And out of every text-to-speech option in this video, there's only one other that does this, which is at the very end of the vid. Currently Well Said Labs has 15 total voices that you can use, though you should know that hasn't changed since it left beta at the beginning of last year. It has a very easy-to-use panel. You can create projects to stay organized, although it costs quite a bit. Actually, it's the most expensive TTS that I know of. It will cost you $100 every month, with a potential incoming price increase to $150. You can get a 10% discount if you buy an annual license. There is a cheaper tier at $50, but you only get access to four of the voices. Creating your own custom voice will cost upwards of $10,000, and if you want access to their API, you need to have $5,000 on hand. All generated audio clips are available for commercial usage. As for my negative experiences, halfway in, I was sent a violation notice for saying some inappropriate things. It was my first experience at having someone read what I was generating. So after that, I was a bit more careful than usual, and I felt restricted in what I could say using the service. Though, I have a solution for that later in the video. As for my second favorite text-to-speech option, and what I think is currently the second most realistic sounding, there's something called Descript that originally is intended for collaborative audio and video editing, and includes transcription. But what really interests me is their overdub service, which introduced text-to-speech. It lets you create a unique TTS voice, from a real voice, for just $30 a month for a minimum of 10 minutes of training, with the annual discount of $24. But you could technically use Descript for free, if you choose to use their standard voices instead of creating one. Here are some Descript voices. This is one of Descript's free voices, and is pretty well known. All of the Descript voices can have their emotion changed with voice styles to change it up a bit. The other Descript voices aren't as well trained, but they do a good enough job. So yep, that's Descript, which is in my opinion a solid choice for your text-to-speech needs, and it can export an unlimited amount of dialogue. As for the cons, words are sometimes mispronounced requiring manual work, and that's about it. As for my third favorite speech synthesis, it's actually pretty new called Replica Studios, and their mission focus is to create voices for your games and animations. There's some very unique things that Replica Studios is doing that others aren't. The first is that they very recently released a new plugin that lets you use their speech synthesis inside Unreal Engine 4. The second unique thing is that Replica Studio lets you create custom voices for free, but also plans to launch a text-to-speech marketplace where you can create a TTS voice and sell it. Also. The plugin for Unreal Engine and their API is free after requesting access. Though if you don't want to use it, they have a web browser panel that lets you easily download generated files as MP3. Here are some voice samples. This is one of Replica's latest voices, Freya. You can also change styles with Replica for a slightly different result. There are some very familiar celebrity voices, including some very unique sounding voices to select from. The only issue is that the generated audio is kind of low quality. You can hear the tin canny effect in full swing. 
Replica currently has 25 voices to select from. And it costs $24 for four hours of dialogue, which is very similar to Descript, though you're not on a timer. And it costs $24 for four hours of dialogue, which is very similar to Descript, though you're not on a timer. Although I'm certain there will be more quality voices to select from in the future. And that's Replica Studio. Word pronunciation needs improved upon. I also think they're using a super old way of making text-to-speech, so it requires hours of training, versus minutes, or even seconds. So one more thing, if you sign up using my invite link in the description, you get 30 extra trial minutes, totaling one hour of free audio generation. Referral links literally just became a thing this week too. As for my fourth favorite, the quadruple speech synthesis of old. With a service called Cucarella, which makes it super easy to access voices from Google TTS, Amazon Polly, Microsoft, and IBM Watson. So Cucarella costs $5 for 100,000 characters. These text-to-speech voices are getting dated, with no styles and such, so your generated audio will always sound the same. Here are some sample voices. Hey there, how are you doing? This is IBM Watson's Allison voice. Hey there, how are you doing? This is Google's Seth voice. Hey there, how are you doing? This is Amazon Polly's Justin voice. Hey there, how are you doing? This is Microsoft's Benjamin voice. Okay, so that's the sampling for each, but I think you should be aware that IBM Watson updated their voices again for 2021. But so far, the update has only been applied onto the IBM Watson website directly. So here's the Cucarella voice sample again for the IBM Allison voice. And then right after that, I'll play the updated IBM sample directly from the IBM website. Hey there, how are you doing? This is IBM Watson's Allison voice. Hey there, how are you doing? This is IBM Watson's Allison voice. You can tell right away that the flow and quality improved a tad bit. So what I'm going to do is directly link Watson's demo, which is free to try out. If you sign up to Watson then you get 10,000 characters a month for free, and it's pretty affordable, costing to cents every thousand characters. I'll even directly link the websites for Google and Amazon, since you can get a one-year free trial to their voices if you go directly to them instead. So that's Cucarella and the quadruple speech synthesis of old. So as I mentioned at the beginning, if you think you'll get in trouble for requesting certain dialogue and want to avoid that, I'm sure you've heard of deep fakes before. Well, it now extends to speech synthesis, with deep fake audio, there's a super cool GitHub project by Corentin, which lets you input an audio clip around 5 to 10 seconds, that clones any voices. I once cloned an ASM or whispering voice that did a near perfect clone, though it was like one good result out of like 30 generations. So very hit or miss. I'll leave a link to the GitHub, but also provide a video tutorial to easily run it, though it requires a Gmail account. There is one more very promising text to speech, called 15AI which had a major update that improved the quality of all its voices. It's entirely free to use for now, though all of the voices aren't for commercial usage since the creator is focusing on training voices from popular animation shows like My Little Pony and games like Portal and so on. Here are some voice samples. 15AI is probably in many ways one of the best sounding speech synthesis out there and it's free. 15 AI is probably in many ways one of the best sounding speech synthesis out there and it's free. It's really too bad you're limited to just 100 characters and there aren't any commercially available voices to use on the platform, but maybe one day it will allow you to create your own voice. But there was always someone there to keep my spirits up and to the patrons who supported me and gave me a voice. Thank you for believing in me. I won't forget it. Yo, yo, Fluttershy, Fluttershy, in the house, in the house, can't wait to toss the floss, in the hood, in the hood, Fluttershy, Fluttershy, baby. And there's tons more available too, with many more likely to come. What's crazy cool to me about 15AI is how it's attracting a whole bunch of younger creators into generating creative text-to-speech content. 15AI can clone voices with very little available data. Every newly generated clip will almost always sound different, which is something I really appreciate. It helps the generated audio sound more authentic and human-like, but it takes it to another level and lets you apply emotion to your text through its emoji analysis thing. So, this video is pretty much done with. All of the links will be in the video description. 
Feel free to share your favorite text-to-speech solutions with others in the comments. I suppose an honorable mention would be Sarah Proc, since you can easily install those voices onto your computer and use them with speech readers and Twitch donos. If you're interested in learning more about 15AI, I had sent the creator some questions through email that they took the time to respond to. Here they are. My first question to the creator. Since 15AI has no commercially available proprietary voices at this time, do you have any plans to hire voice actors, actresses, to create public custom voices for commercial usage in the future? He responded simply. Nope. My second question. Do you have any plans in the future to allow users to create custom voices for private or public commercial usage? He responded. Not right now, no. No other service comes close. So there is no competition. And my third question. What are you doing currently or plan in the future to prevent the internet from abusing the currently available voices on 15AI? He responded. Nothing. The internet is free to do as they please. I asked my fourth question. You say you can be contacted to set up a personal endpoint to skip the queue. How much does that cost? He responded. Thousands of dollars a month to set up the server alone. My final question to him. In the FAQ, you say 15AI was originally intended to be a repository for your research, and some users are curious if you have plans on sharing the source code publicly like Tacotron. Did you? Or do you ever have any plans on sharing the source code publicly in the future? He responded. I have no plans yet. With that said, Fruity Boop out.